Donald Trump spoke about his foreign policy ideas to Fox and Friends. Now, he's going to start out making some sense, but then he says something that's absolutely atrocious and morally abhorrent. All right, uh, uh, Donald Trump, let me bring you back to the fight against ISIS. In, in the last few months since we've been talking to you, at the first you said let Assad take care of ISIS, then let Russia take care of ISIS, then you said you want to bomb ISIS. What's the Donald Trump policy between Syria and a Shia-run Iraq? Well, my policy has always been the same. We're fighting ISIS, and Assad is fighting ISIS, and Assad, let's assume, is a bad guy, because he is, but we're backing rebels to fight Assad. Uh, again, ISIS is fighting Assad. You got to pick who you're fighting. I mean, you can't fight everybody. We're going to be fighting everybody. Now you have Turkey involved, and Turkey sort of likes ISIS more than they like others, and nobody really knows because we don't have people that know what they're doing. So, in my opinion, you go along, and Russia does not like ISIS, and people are starting to find out. I mean, in all fairness, they just lost an airplane, got blew mm -hmm. out of the air. So uh, Russia is not a fan of ISIS. Russia is so, bombing so, the hell out of them, starting right. to bomb them. I say ISIS is our number one threat. We can't be fighting everybody at the same time. ISIS is our number one threat. So that's all you'd worry about. Just go with, find out where they are, take them out. Don't I even worry about a coalition. Out of, I would. I like to do one thing at a time. I would knock the hell out of ISIS. Okay. I would hit them. I would hit them, Brian, so hard like they've never. What been about hit civilian before. casualties? What, what about the fact that we're targeting them and people are very concerned about collateral damage? I would do my best, absolute best. I mean, one of the problems that we have, and one of the reasons we're so ineffective, is you know they're trying to. They're using them as shields. It's yes. a horrible thing. They're using them as shields. But we're That's fighting a very politically correct war. Yeah. Well, we see that and the other thing the is with the terrorists, you have to take out their families. When you get these terrorists, you have to take out their families. They, they care about their lives. Don't kid yourself. Mr. But they Trump say they don't care about their lives. You have to take out their families. You don't get to do what they do, meaning the terrorists, and still say you're a good guy. That's not how it works, okay? Actions matter. Remember the old saying when your mom used to tell you actions speak louder than words? You don't get to say, I'm the good guy, I'm the good guy, but we should torture, we should attack civilians, we should do illegal wars, we should do restrictions of civil liberties, we should throw out the Constitution, we should do extrajudicial trials, uh, or simply don't give people a trial and lock them up for over a decade. You don't get to say that and then say, but I'm the good guy. No, 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 your actions define whether or not you're good. And if you say, I want to use almost all the tactics of the terrorists, but don't say I'm a bad person, well, that's stupid. That doesn't make any sense. And that's the problem, is that this is how these guys think. I mean, could you imagine uh, anybody else saying that? Now, we know, of course we know, ISIS and other terrorist organizations... They want to kill infidels and civilians, and they do it all the time, whether it's Shiite civilians or moderate Muslim civilians or Christians or Yazidis or, or you know, Americans or whatever the case is. But if they say, you know, oh, the, the American crusaders who destroyed our land and did all these things, so now it's justified for us to go and kill any Americans, the families of the Americans, because... Uh, some soldiers did bad things to us. How would we respond to that? We'd be like, oh, they're flat-out terrorists. Flat-out terrorists. That's what you are. You're saying I'm going to attack civilians? You're saying I'm going to attack families? The families of people who may or may not have done some things to you that were fucked up. But that you think that makes you a good person? I'm going to attack innocent people to get back for something that may or may not have happened to me that I didn't like. Attack innocent people. Well... It's it's a horrific thing, and it's grotesque and disgust, disgusting when they do it, but it's also grotesque and disgusting when we do it. There are plenty... There's been documentaries on the parents of kids who became radicalized and then went and fought for ISIS or joined some jihadist groups, and they're fucking heartbroken. They talk about how they lost their baby and they can't believe that this happened and they wish they could redo it and they're depressed and they live with this burden day in and day out. And, you know, it's this idea that they're guilty by association, that you know somebody who may have been a bad person or you're related to somebody that may have been a bad person. This is how barbarians think if you do collective punishment. He's advocating for killing civilians. 
In a world that made sense, it's over. You're done. You're done. And then even fucking Brian Kilmeade brought up a decent point. Where he's like, you know, when we... What do you say to people who say we kill civilians and that makes the problem worse because then more terrorists are created? And then Trump goes on to advocate for killing civilians, killing the families of the terrorists. You know, we've spoken about this before, man, because this actually is something that we do and we've done. Uh, whether it's bombing funerals of Taliban operatives, for example, or bombing Anwar al-Awlaki's son, Abdul Rahman, who's 16 years old, uh, wasn't guilty of any crime or charged with any crime, but his dad was a bad guy. So they're like, okay, kid, blow him up with a drone. It, I mean, this is something that we've done, and a guy like Trump wants to say, yes, let's do it more! Guys, when you look at a, a funeral of a Taliban operative, and you know that there are women and children and innocent people there. But you say, let's blow it up anyway, because maybe out of 30 people, we get three more guys who we think might be Taliban operatives. And you make that decision. That's not just collateral damage. Collateral damage to me is you're trying to only target people who you know are guilty and, you know, you set up a process and, all right, this is the guy we're going after. And then you, you try to get that person and, oh my God, we have killed a civilian in the process. That's collateral damage. Totally ac accidental. But when you know, and you, okay, funeral, there are families there. We know the families are there, but we're going to do it anyway. And then you point the finger at them afterwards. Why do you use uh, human shields? You know, this is the point that Netanyahu brings up where he's like, well, they're, they're horrific people. They're the ones that are using human shields. But wait a second, if you're saying their human shields are this trap, why the fuck did you walk into that trap and kill the civilians? That's not a hard question for me. If there's a bad dude, imagine watching a bank robbery on TV and you have a guy come out who's got a few civilians, he's pointing guns at them with the people in front of him. And you got the, the TV cameras recording this and they're, he's got the gun to the civilian's head and he's walking out. On what planet does it make sense for the police department to give the order, SHOOT! I don't care that there are civilians in front. Kill the civilians, too! He's using human shields. We had to do it. No, you didn't have to do it. You didn't have to do it. You chose to do it. You chose to do it, and you knew you'd kill civilians, and you decided you wanted to do that. You said, I'm okay with that. It wasn't just an accident. You said, I'm okay with it. And that makes you a lot closer to the terrorists than you think it does.